Hey guys, welcome back to Hawkeye Star Rail. In today's video, we just got some dev notes dropped 55 minutes ago, and honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this. We got new game modes now. They're doing something here that I thought they were going to have to do. If you looked in my video about who to pull for for the four upcoming characters, I talked about with Argenti that they like unless they make some sort of new end game for him to function in, he wasn't going to have a place in the game. So it looks like they are instead of trying to balance the classes being like destructions kind currently OP in uh, Memory of Chaos, we, we know that they dominate. They're introducing new game modes to give the other classes a chance to shine. I want to go through everything in this dev notes because there is a bunch of stuff, but the big thing is that we are getting a new end game mode that's going to be like an endless wave mode, which will alternate with Memory of Chaos have rewards. Memory of Chaos is getting extended. There's a bunch of shit in here. Let's get into it. So. Let's go through the first thing. So new permanent game mode. The new permanent game mode, Pure Fiction, uh, is set to... And also, I, I suck at reading sometimes, so I do apologize. <laughs> if you've been around me for a while, you know I, you know I struggle a little bit in <laughs> life. So <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, it's set to come online in version 1.6. We look forward to bringing Trailblazers a more diverse gaming experience through this new game mode and immerse them in different gameplay strategies. So defeat enemies, earn high scores, win rewards. I, they don't say anything about a leader. Board. I'm curious if they're going to have some sort of competition involved in the game with the leaderboard. I doubt it, but you know, you can flex your best scores, I guess, on the internet, you know, how people do. Uh, in, in Pure Fiction, enemies will continuously respawn. You can earn points by dealing damage or defeating enemies. At the end of each battle, the highest score achieved in the challenge will be recorded. The more enemies you defeat and the more damage you deal within a limited number of cycles, the higher your score will be. Please try to defeat as many enemies as possible to earn high, a higher score within the number of cycles allotted. Furthermore, in each phase, Pure Fiction will will offer different buffs to trailblazers to choose from. So uh, when it says to choose from, does that mean it's going to give us fixed ones like Memory of Chaos? Or will we get like three to choose from, kind of like a simulated universe type thing? Curious to see. It'd be cool if they gave us a choice from some, because then people's accounts, you could try different things. I think that would be cool. Uh, probably combining these buffs with your lineup is key to achieving higher scores. So I'm assuming we do get to choose. Uh, obtain up to 720 Stellar Jades in each phase of pure fiction. Now, this is where I said when they say en enemies continuously respawn, I'm like, okay, this is going to be one of those ones where, you know, you want to deal the AoE damage to cleave them. I think this is aiming towards erudition. But we also have the issue in the game at the moment where hunt characters... The problem with hunt characters, though, is that they've made the recent destruction characters like do more single target damage than the hunt characters, so I think they're kind of boned. But for future hunt characters, if they make high single target damage dealing, the way they, they say defeat more enemies or deal more damage, maybe we'll have like invincible enemies with endless health pools in here, and single target damage may be one of the phases we go through in this. That would give them access to endless respawning to help erudition shine, and then single enemies, just single enemies, that's it, no adds, with endless health pools and you got a certain amount of cycles to do the most damage possible that would allow hunt to shine i feel like that's what we may get i definitely think the, this is going to be a thing to shine for erudition but they may flip it into hunt when we look at 1.6 when we get the uh the doctor in, in here who's going to be a, an imaginary hunt that's my guess we'll have to wait and see Moving on from that, we're also making the following adjustments to Forgotten Hole and uh, Forgotten Hole Memory of Chaos. In version 1.6, in addition to the existing 10 stages of Memory of Chaos, we will introduce two new Memory of Chaos challenge stages, 11 and 12. Achieving three star rating in stages 11 and 12 will reward you with an additional 120 Stellar Jades, which means you can earn up to 720 Stellar Jades in each Memory of Chaos phase. Cool beans. Then we've got Auto Clear Function. Uh, this one, I. Let's go through it. I was going to just paraphrase it, but in case I screw it up, we're going to read it. Uh, in addition to the increase in stage and reward stages and rewards, the Forgotten Hall auto clear function will be introduced. After the 1.6 version update, Trailblazers can quickly clear the Forgotten Hall without needing to re-challenge previous stages based on their highest three-star level from past Memory of Chaos periods. After the new Memory of Chaos opens, Trailblazers can directly challenge the highest three-star level from past periods upon achieving a three-star victory, they can obtain all the rewards from the preceding stages. Currently, the highest level allowed to challenge start from is level seven. So essentially, the way I think that means is if you three-starred seven last time, you can start from seven. And if you three-star seven, you get all the previous stage rewards. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. It's a bit 
I don't know, maybe my brain just doesn't compute that properly, but I'm pretty sure that is what that's saying. Uh, team setup, uh, the challenge, I'm not going to go too deep into this one because they covered it in the uh, dev live stream uh, where it's going to remember your team and you're going to be able to retry. And if you're on the second, uh, the second phase of memory of chaos and you retry you just basically go out you don't have to redo the first one you get all your uh your technique points back and stuff like that they went through that i'm not going to go too deep into that um forgotten hall availability uh, adjustments we will be adjusting the availability phase okay so this is where i say it's going to cycle between memory of chaos and the new one which of name i've already forgotten but uh starting from version 1.6 forgotten hall memory of chaos will no longer refresh every two weeks instead it will alternate with pure fix that's the new mode remembered it specifically after every two weeks of memory of chaos a new pure fiction phase will commence then after another two weeks a new memory of chaos phase will begin uh, and this pattern will continue to alternate okay let me just finish this i was going to go into my summary at the same time, the availability for each phase of Memory of Chaos will be extended from two weeks to six weeks. This means that after a new phase of Memory of Chaos starts, the previous phase of Memory of Chaos will still be available. The rules for pure fiction regarding its availability will be aligned with those of Memory of Chaos. So basically, you, you, it's every two weeks you're still getting a new challenge to get your jades. It's just that each one's going to have six weeks for you to play it to complete it. So it's like you don't have to complete the Memory of Chaos you're on right now. Uh, you know, after the two weeks, you got a pure fiction. You clap that, cool beans. Then you get a new memory of chaos and you go, oh shit, I haven't done the old memory of chaos. I'm going to clap the two of them. I think that's really cool. I do like that. So when we go to the memory of chaos, you'll have two memory chaos. So like once it's, once this is in the full swing, you're always going to have two memory of chaos and one pure fiction or one pure fiction and two memory of chaos. Am I looking at that right? Yeah. Cause you can see the little gap here. This is like the gap where you got two memory of chaos, one pure fiction, one memory of chaos, two pure fiction. So you're always going to have three things available to do. So I like that. Once again, the rewards don't change. The only thing that changes is every two weeks, you're going to get more rewards because we have two extra stages. So it's up to two, uh, 720 Stellar Jade rewards every two weeks, but you just have a longer window to get it. Like I said, I think that's pretty sick. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, we hope that Trailblazers will have more time to plan accordingly, uh, according to their preferences, grow their characters, and enjoy the gameplay. Furthermore, the opening time for Memory of Chaos at the end of version 1.5 will be temporarily adjusted to coincide with the re release of version 1.6. The opening time for subsequent pre uh, permanent game mode implementation will not be affected. Cool beans. They're just going to launch it with it. Cool beans. Happy days. Uh, additional redeemable rewards. We will also be uh, adding so self-modeling resins, which is sick, and additional items as new rewards from version 1.6. Trailblazers who successfully complete Forgotten Hall or Pure Fiction can obtain new current to exchange for rewards this is cool i'm wondering if it's gonna you're gonna get more of that currency every two weeks when you get a new one or if it's like one of the one time it sounds like recurring we'll have to wait and see uh nameless honor optimization roadmap in future updates the express crew will continuously optimize the nameless honor okay so battle pass getting some buffs uh the 680 stellar jays originally part of the level 50 reward will be immediately received upon unlocking the nameless glory cool beans one self-modeling resin will be added to the level 50 so you're basically getting an extra self-modeling resin by the end of it but 680 stellar jays that were at level 50 are now coming at the very start cool beans uh reward levels increased at the same time rewards uh rewards for levels 50 51 to 70 will be added to the nameless honor between levels 51 and 70 for each level up you in your nameless honor ranking you will receive uh, an additional 10,000 credits after trailblazers unlock nameless glory they will also receive an additional 20 relic okay, okay not too bad um the, the credits i guess that's because you just always cap it and it feels bad when you always see the quests and you can't do it i, I, I you know it's just a little, little fluff at the end i guess uh, it, it, it's better not increase the cost of it i mean i'm free to play but I'm, it better not i wonder if free to play gets stuff out of it I don't know. Reward adjustment plan. At the same time, the crew also uh, will also be continually making adjustments to Nameless Honor's rewards. For example, switching Gift of the Path Strider rewards to Universal Trace materials. After optimization, Trailblazers will not need to choose between different types of materials when obtaining the Gift of the Path Strider. That's right, because when you go to collect it at the moment on the thing, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, free to play here. I did spend for a little bit and quit the account. Uh, you, you go to click it and you 
have to choose the the trace material you want straight away but now they're going to give you the cho choice chest so it just sits in your bag and then once you need it you make the decision i think that's good uh, mission optimization in the upcoming versions to further enhance the trailblazers gaming experience the express crew will also optimize the mission content of nameless honor for more details and optimizations please see our upcoming official announcements cool beans uh, the crew will be continuously optimize uh, will continuously optimize the usability of relic related functions in future updates we will add a function to rapidly enhance relics allowing relic levels to be rapidly increased to specific levels where new random Saturday. yes thank you this is one that i wanted from the very start it's one of my pet peeves with the upgrade system on relics when i hit auto i don't want it just to auto fill to 15 i want it to hit auto and it auto fill to three then i can tap that auto and it goes to six then i tap it again goes to nine and then i hit okay so i can just basically choose where i want to go to three six nine twelve or fifteen that's what i want i think that's what they're saying that is fantastic additionally the discard relic function is now in the pipeline trailblazers will be able to mark relics they don't need when obtaining or sorting through relics to quickly salvage the ones they don't need cool beans uh not only that it's so annoying when you go through and you're like you're like clicking them and then you mess it up and you're like ah oh, shit uh not only that there will also be a recommended relic function in the future recommending the most frequently used relic sets and main stats for the characters as a reference for trailblazers those things that they, 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 like they, i've seen a bunch of games do this type of stuff it's never 100 but it's always a good general rule thing in my opinion uh as, but the, the one thing with this is you like hopefully they don't include cap like hopefully it's only for players that are of a certain power level or something because you know early game players just slap anything on and that can skew the numbers because you do have a lot of accounts just dead in the early game so hopefully they do think that stuff through uh, and make it a good system furthermore we will uh we will be constantly improving the relic filtering experience in the future you can filter for relics that do not have specific stats allowing you to quickly organize or salvage them that's pretty good I mean, uh, you just sort for no speed, crit rate, crit damage. <laughs> no, it's that, that's too hard, actually, because there's, you want different stats on different things. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Express crew has also received many pieces of feedback uh, about support characters. In future updates, the crew will be expanding the number of support characters allowed to be set in the Trailblazer profile. That's pretty good because if you just have a friend with a bunch of stacked characters, it just makes it easy clap when you're going into farming. The number of displayed characters will also be increased in the uh, Starfaring Companions, Cool Beans. I almost lost that. I couldn't say words, you know, it is what it is. There will also be more Trailblazer information displayed on the Trailblazer profile. Cool Beans. I don't really care about this stuff, but if you guys do, grats. Uh, in the support screen, Trailblazers can pin some of their friends to the top of their list, making it more convenient to use support characters every time. It's back to the old days of MySpace, where everyone at school used to complain with each other about who was their favorite friend on MySpace. I never had social media, so I just used to listen to it. But hey, that's the end of the video, guys. Anyway, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. I like the new game mode. I like the extra rewards, and I like the six-week period to complete shit. I think it's pretty good. That's my thoughts. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.